Hello, David here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I wanted to do a quick uh, review video on this new meter I got that I'm super excited about. It's the Tri-Field uh, EMF meter model TF2. It's a new model that came out recently. And um, the reason I'm so excited about it is because it measures all three types of electromagnetic radiation um, that, that you would find in your house. So um, whereas a lot of you guys have seen me use, I use this one a lot, which I really love this meter, um, but it only measures um, one type, RF radiation. This one measures RF radiation, electric fields, and magnetic fields. So, and this one is about, uh, this one here, I mean, is about half the price of this one here. So, there are, there is one thing I like better about this meter when you're testing your house, and I'll talk about that just in the end. Um, but most everything I like better about this meter. So, um, let's turn this on and I'll show you things. You can see there's five different settings here. Um, there's two magnetic field settings, two electric field settings, and one RF radiation settings. You can see there's a light blue section that says standard and there's a dark blue section that says weighted. The difference between the weighted, the dark blue, and the standard is the weighted is that those two settings are more sensitive um, in frequencies above 60 hertz, if that makes sense, if I said that right. So most of what you'll use is the standard setting, the standard um, magnetic field uh, setting and the standard electric field setting. So, and then if you look at, the one thing I don't like about this meter is I wish they had this big number up here where the little number is and the little number down where the big number is bigger. In other words, this one should be the big number and this one should be the little number. Um, this one here is what they call a uh, field reading and this one up here is what they call the peak. The difference between the peak and the field is um, the peak only changes every couple of seconds, every two or three seconds. And what it shows is just the highest of the field setting that happened over that two or three second period. So it, it just, so basically it just monitors this one for two or three seconds. And then up here, it throws the, the highest number that, sh that, that showed up over that two or three seconds. So really that's all I look at is the peak because that's what I need to know. So I wish that was the bigger number down here. Anyway, um, other than that, that's a minor detail. You just got to remember to watch that number. Um, this one changes so often it, when you're reading something, it's kind of hard to tell where you're at. Um, anyway, uh, and that's with this, with this meter here, this one just shows the peak. If you have it on the peak setting, which I always have it on the peak setting. So anyway, um, so let's, let's show you how much, uh, let's show you how much setting uh, is in the, or how much uh, magnetic field radiation comes out of the typical uh, laptop here. So I'll let you watch this. If you can see any reading on this at all, it's too high. <laughs> and this is way high, almost pegging the meter different spots here so all that all of that magnetic radiation is going right into your lap if you've got this thing set on your lap um, I'm not going to get into why that's all harmful to you there's lots of articles and videos on uh, um, radiationhealthrisks.com that talk about that um, but anyway uh, now let's try the magnet or the electric field Interesting thing about the electric field, there's three settings on this meter that measures this stuff, like here, here, and here, if I remember right. But what's funny is, you'll notice my hand affects the, the reading. <laughs> We're conductive, you know, our bodies are made of water, so we have electricity in our body. So I try to hold it, you know, when I'm using the electric one way back here. But watch as I go over this laptop how much... There's little spikes of uh, electric fields as well. So hopefully you can see that. So again, if it re if it's reading, it's too high. 
So now let's move this over to the RF uh, field, and, or RF setting, I mean. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to put these two meters together here. It'll take this uh, HF35C a minute to calm down. Um, anyway, and it's picking something up from the laptop. I turned the Wi-Fi off, but there must still be a little signal going there. But anyway, the big thing you'll notice the difference is this meter here measures in microwatts per meter squared. This one measures in uh, milliwatts per meter, milliwatts per meter squared. Anyway, that's picking up something. That's interesting. I wonder if I have the Bluetooth on on my laptop and didn't realize it. Anyway, it's getting something. If you notice here, this is picking it up too. Uh, when it spikes, you see the spike here. Here you see it here because this is showing the peak here. Um, see, that goes really high when it spikes, but this stays low. So if you're watching this, you're not see thinking that you're seeing any radiation. If you look up here and you got a big spike. So that's why I like I like to watch that number. But anyway, um, the main difference between microwatts per meter squared that this measures and milliwatts is just where the decimal point is, if you can see that on that screen. So it's still, still reading the same way. So um, I'm going to turn the uh, Wi-Fi on on the laptop. And now you'll notice as I'm over here, it's reading kind of low. And then as we move over here towards the laptop, it starts freaking out. And now watch the difference between the peak, the little number in the top versus the lower number. You can see why it's important to watch the top number, not the little number. Because the little number is actually, I mean, the big number at the bottom is actually changing so fast, you don't see all of the numbers. And so the peak... Uh, the peak shows you the highest numbers that it's reading. So that's why I think that, that's the only thing I don't like because I wish they, they would have switched those numbers and had the bigger, the peak be the bigger one at the bottom. But anyway, so now what do I like about this meter? Most things I like about this meter best, but what do I like better about this meter than this meter? The fact that it's directional. For a beginner, when I, when you're first trying to learn um, what things in your house, because there's things in your house you don't even realize, um, you know, put off radiation, at least when you're first new to this. Um, but, and, and you can just go around your house with this and you, and if it starts making noise, you go in the direction that you have it pointed and it makes it really easy to find it. With this, it's a little bit more like playing the game. Um, uh, I was going to say duck, duck, goose, but I don't mean duck, duck, goose. That game, I don't remember what it's called, but that game when you're a kid where something's hidden in the room and, and you go towards, as you get closer to it, the person goes, you're getting hotter, hotter, hotter. Oh, you're getting really hot. You know, and then as you go the wrong direction, oh, you're getting cold, you're getting cold. That's what you feel a little bit like with this, except for basically not because, especially now that you get more, I have more experience, I know what types of things and you just go over there and you check the reading on it. So it's not as big of a deal probably as I'm making it out to, but, um, but, but, anyway. hang on a second. Sorry about that. My dog was having a coughing. Anyway, um, so all in all, I think this meter, I mean, it's half the price, measures all three things. I don't think you can do any better. Um, uh, you still would need, uh, you st besides this meter, you still would want to get the uh, Gram Stetzer meter so that you can actually plug it into the circuit and get a true reading on dirty electricity. You can pick up the dirty electricity with this, but the 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 uh, Gram Stetzer meter will actually uh, tell you what's in the in the live circuit and then show you the difference when you put the the filter in it to take it down. Um, so, but this will show you the, those kind of things in electronic devices really, really well. So I hope that helped. Uh, appreciate you watching this video. Uh, please uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe. That helps us get more people seeing the video. Sure appreciate it. Talk to you in the next video.